Okay, so here's the uh, the water tank. It's a water tank that uh, contains uh, 48 cubic meters of water, 48,000 liters, uh, if I understood that correctly. Um, and uh, this is the uh, the dedication uh, sign that uh, Natalie Natalie made. And it says, Un regalo de sus amigos canadienses. A gift from your Canadian friends. And Carlos, who runs the farm, made the, uh, the roof and, uh, and the bamboo uh, posts there, or Guadua posts to be precise. And he added the words, Gracias amigos. They are so, so, so thankful for this tank. You have no idea. No idea. Uh, over here we've got a, this is a, a gauge, it's a, basically a plastic pipe that they use to be able to uh, see uh, to what extent the tank is full. So right now you can see that it's, it's full at 48, uh, 48 cubic meters. So the way this thing works, just show you real quick. Rainwater is collected from the roof top here and, uh, and um, comes into the tank via those gutters and drains. Uh, in fact, water is also collected from the roof top over here and uh, it is uh, stored in, uh, in a black water tank over there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a black water tank over there. There are also a couple of water tanks here, and all of this water basically is directed into the water tank uh, by a virtue of uh, some plastic underground piping. And uh, in fact, the water is collected, all of this groundwater around here is collected also, because it's, uh, it's all been built on a slope such that the groundwater is not wasted, it all drains into the tank via this filter. There's a filtering system in here so that the pebbles and the bugs and all of that stuff is filtered out. And, um, and the water is then uh, directed into the tank. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. The tank uh, is uh, made of brick and cement and rebar. Lots of rebar. And, um, and uh, in, in here there's a trap door so that they can empty the tank and there's a, a staircase made of rebar so that they can get into the tank and um, for maintenance purposes that probably once a year or something like that there's an overflow drain right there as you can see so that uh, uh, any excess water is uh, is uh, is drained out of the tank and um, this tank uh, I'm told takes seven days of continuous rainfall to fill it up and so underground here there's some four inch plastic piping and the four inch plastic piping uh, comes down here underground here and uh, it uh, it goes over to this um, well, let's call it a distribution center of some kind by the way this is these are the uh, Lentejas plantations, plantations of lentils, which Matt and I spent uh, muchas, muchas horas, many hours cleaning out last week, or two weeks ago, I guess. Anyway, here's the uh, what I'm calling the distribution center, where the water from the tank gets distributed to seven uh, water, watering stations, I guess, let's call them. Uh, you see over there, there's uh, seven of seven watering stations that look like that. Basically, plastic pipe with a faucet on the end of them, uh, with a faucet on the end of it. And uh, there's seven of those around the farm. And uh, and this is uh, uh, the water comes in here. Uh, there's a fairly sizable valve here that's worth something like three hundred dollars, I'm told, and some pretty impressive. Uh, plumbing uh, fittings uh, and uh, and that four inch pipe well you see the four inch comes in here from the tank 
and uh, and then it uh, becomes a two inch pipe and that two inch pipe comes in here and they've got another valve here so I guess they can they've got a number of valves along the whole system here where they can shut down the system for maintenance purposes and uh, here I think they might actually put a Y fitting in here they might change this so that uh, they can add six uh, watering stations and uh, then they would have 13 stations around the farm instead of seven so that I guess is this year's project but that's basically it uh, this uh, whole project came in pretty close to budget. I think we had budgeted 10 million pesos, uh, or they had budgeted 10 million pesos, and uh, it came in at 11.1 .1 million pesos, so a little more than, than expected, not materially more, and, uh, but more importantly, on time, and, uh, and uh, a very, very useful tool for them. So there you have it. Uh, once again, I just want to thank you all. Uh, here's Natalie's thing again. Let's just go on the back of it. She engraved all of the names of the uh, of the uh, donors. So you're all there. Or, or all of your names should be there. And uh, if we if we just zoom in here a little bit, uh, you should be able to see your name here somewhere. So. There you go. Once again, thank you so, so much. They are very, very happy. You have no idea. Here's Carlos over here. Carlos, quiere decir, quiero decir alguna cosa? Bueno, para nuestros amigos canadienses, muchísimas gracias por por esa donación que nos hicieron tan importante para nuestro trabajo. Muchas gracias. De nada. Y muchas gracias a ti. Ok, there we go. We have it. So we're going to say adiós. Saludos. Besos y abrazos. Bye.